Hello everyone, welcome to another introduction video into the Cinemeric control system. Today, we're going to talk about the version information associated with your CNC control. This version information is really important to make sure your control operates the same way today, tomorrow, and in the future. The version information is also very helpful for making diagnostic decisions as well as making sure your functionality is up to par. So, how do we find the version information on a CNC control? In order to do that, hit the menu select key and the diagnostics key. Menu select diagnostics. Then I'm hitting the version button and now I see an overview of the version information for my system. In this case, I have an A28D turning export version at system software version 4.7 service pack 2. I can look at further details for any one of the components listed here by simply scrolling to it and then hitting the details key. In this case, I'm going to look at the details of my CNC system software. Now we're looking at all of the cycles and version information for the components of my CNC system software. In order to save this information, now I can save it in my version folder. I'm going to keep the name. And boom, there it is. It's all being saved. When you're going through this save process, it's important to keep in mind that while the save is occurring is in saving the information of the screen you're at. So if you want to save the detailed information for the CNC software, you can follow the process I just did. If you want to save the detailed process for the PLC, you're going to then have to go into the PLC folder. Now, once my version information has totally been saved, I can then move the file from my CNC controller to view offline for example, let's say on a USB device. Now my version information is wrapping up. Any minute now. Aha, and we're complete. So now I'm going to go find that version information in the system software and move it to my USB. To do that, I'm going to hit the menu select key, setup. System data, and then I'm going to go to my HMI data, version data, and copy the text file that was just created. By doing that, I'm going to hit copy, and then I'm going to paste that into my USB. My hardware version information has now been saved as a text file on my USB drive. Now you can communicate this information to your OEM or to help diagnose some of the issues maybe between different machines or to make sure your machine is exactly where it should be. Thank you for viewing this, and I hope you can join us for another session introducing you to all the different functions of the Cinemeric CNC control.